what's up guys everything apple pro here and i got the new samsung galaxy s7 edge this thing is samsung's vision reimagined and it's now waterproof it's got micro sd removable memory uh, low light camera that can take pictures in almost dark conditions it's incredibly flat and it's got a lot of great things going for it but how's the durability in this video it's only natural that i'd want to test samsung's new phone and pit it against the iphone 6s plus this thing we've tested already but as a point of reference i thought i'd include them so galaxy s7 edge versus iphone 6s plus drop test in various conditions now these things are both mad durable the iphone 6s plus has aluminium 7000 and that new dual ion exchange glass we've tested it it was durable galaxy s7 Gorilla Glass 4 and hardened aluminum on the edges. It exposes a lot of the glass. I'm a little worried about how it's gonna fall. You know, there's a lot more exposure to sensitive materials on it. But that's what this video is for, right? We're gonna test waist height, head height, and we're gonna go above and beyond that and see what it really takes to destroy these things, put them out of their misery, how durable they're gonna be in your day-to-day -day life. So let's go ahead and pit these guys against each other and test the S7 Edge versus the iPhone 6S Plus in a durability drop test. In the past, Galaxy and Apple have been battling for as long as we know. In terms of durability, Galaxies have always been very good and uh, see if that continues nowadays. The design has changed a little bit. How's the durability? iPhone 6S Plus, let's do this one first about waist height. You're taking it out of your pocket, the phone slips. Let's do a perfect side uh, drop first in uh, three, two, one. Nice little jump there. Uh, the material on the 6S Plus has always been very durable and there's a good dent in there. But if this was a 6 Plus, it would have been a lot more noticeable. That was a softer metal. Not bad. We're good. Same deal with the S7 Edge. Uh, this hurts. This hurts so bad because, you know, this is such a beautiful phone. But I want to know how durable it is. This is the only way. Waist high drop in three, two. Wow. <laughs> Some of the water lodged in there from the water test just jumped out and it looks good. So I've always noticed that with Samsung's, they're uh, more resilient to scratches and dents. It's almost as if the material used is a lot tougher, but it looks good, it works fine. Let's do the back. I'm not too worried about the 6S Plus because you know there's no glass on it, just the cover right here. Those do break once in a while if it lands right, but you know, it's just, I don't know, worst you'll get is scratches. Waist height, rear impact, three, two, Wow. Nothing to report, just little scuffs and uh, those aren't even that visible. Rear impact, three, two, one. Wow, okay, so still good. Starting to notice some scratches right here on the top of the glass. Otherwise, we're good. Same deal on these precious, precious displays. Beautiful AMOLED is about to say hello to the ground. First though, the 6S Plus in three, two, one. Perfectly flat. Evenly distributed. We're good here. No issues. Definitely more glass exposure. I'm worried about this one. Three, two, one. Ooh. Oh, we're good. So again, a little uh, scratches start to become visible. Otherwise good. So time to ramp it up to the head height. It's about five feet, I'd say, and uh, drop these guys, same deal. Now I know the world doesn't talk on the phone anymore. It's all text nowadays, but say you are talking for a very long time, you just get tired and you gotta let your phone go. Here it is, head height, side impact on the 6S Plus. All right, so more dense, more scuffs. Still usable display is good. Head eye, S7 Edge, three, two, one. Oh, that was quite the impact too. So we're good. It's still looking incredibly clean for the amount of abuse it's taken. All right. Oh, wow. Okay, I spoke too soon. So there it is. 
the rear is cracked head high on the rear you know you have more glass on the phone so there's a better chance that it will crack but the important part is the front hasn't broke yet back impact how much worse can it get so head height here so you're talking and it falls so three two one activated some buttons right here camera has not broken it's looking pretty good Ooh, ouch you know look at that spider webs everywhere but it's actually surprisingly smooth when the glass breaks it doesn't jut out it still holds in place very well it's almost like safety glass so wow face down can it take the impact let's see unfortunately the gorilla didn't protect this guy let's do the front facing test now and uh, this is almost certainly gonna end in failure so uh, let's do the iPhone first too much anticipation here all right Three, two, one. Wow. Scratch, deep scratch in there. No crack, no crack, that's the best part. So at this point, looking good. Let's do the same to uh, a seven edge. Here we go. This is it. Three, two, one. Wow, there's no way that survived. Oh my goodness. You surprised me yet again, Samsung. Beautiful, so no cracks. The back is starting to jut out a little bit. But wow, still usable. This is the most normal drop test. You're not gonna usually drop your phone above five feet. And at this point, five feet, the iPhone 6S Plus looks miles better than the S7 Edge. But the good news is the back plate is very cheap. You know, you can replace it for under $30. The front screen though, you know, those are expensive and both are doing great. In terms of scratches, let's turn these guys off and take a look. Both are looking great. The iPhone 6S Plus isn't as good at scratch resistance. I'm seeing a lot of scratches right here, right here, up here. And uh, I see none on this guy. So very impressive scratch resistant on the Gorilla Glass 4. Let's up this and do a 10 foot drop. 10 feet because uh, tall people do exist. And a side impact, I'll try and land it on the side. It's kind of hard to do, but here we go. Three, two, one. So from 10 feet, your headphone jack is bent. It's gonna be very hard to put it in. Otherwise, not looking bad. The uh, Galaxy S7 Edge, definitely worse for the wear, but this thing has a couple dents that are noticeable. Your headphone experience won't be as pleasant, but the display has survived, and that's the best part. So, to the S7 Edge. Two, one. Wow, so <laughs> I think I see the battery, the shape of it start to emerge. Pretty soon it's gonna pop out here but it's a survivor. Not looking too bad, the actual metal, the scuffing, but this glass back, yeah. This is 10 feet, iPhone 6S Plus. Three, two, one. Still alive. That's a solid thunk too. That seven edge, will it survive? I don't think so, but let's do the same deal. Face down, 10 feet, dropping in three, two, one. Oh, yeah, that's it. So we've got LCD bleeding in there. It is still working though, so I guess that's the good news. Ouch. So 10 feet. Which phone is gonna survive the iPhone 6S Plus? We've tested it many times in uh, the durability drop tests and every single time it's impressed me with uh, how durable it has been. Definitely 6S Plus is the one that's looking better here. So this is just to see naked phones, which one is gonna survive and both did great. You know, if you're not gonna be dropping it from 10 feet, your phone will survive, it'll do just fine. Of course, this guy has the advantage of being water resistant, waterproof, and I don't think that can be topped. So let's see what it takes to completely destroy this guy and go up to 20 feet, drop both of them, see which one will survive. Dropping in three, two, one. Both of these guys landed on their back. They did uh, some aerodynamic skills. 
A lot of glass shards coming out of here. Redo face down. Three, two, one. Oh my goodness, the iPhone 6S Plus just refuses to die. It's it's actually bent like a, a banana a little bit right there, but the screen still hasn't broken on this guy. Still working. I just can't believe this. It's bent, but it still doesn't want to break. So uh, if that doesn't speak miles about durability, I don't know what else will. So there you have it. Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge versus iPhone 6S Plus. Both very durable. One, uh, you know, survived far longer than the other. And the S7 Edge, the battery's loose inside. You can hear it shaking. Uh, you see a whole bunch of cracks, but it's still trooping on. It's gonna be expensive to fix, but it does work. So uh, there you go, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out the water test and actual comparison. Have a great day, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Peace.